Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, this is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance, my name is Sharnetta, I hope you all are having an enjoyable day or evening wherever you are, so today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today's topic is going to be your next blessing or blessings, um, so we're going to be looking into what good news you can expect coming forward towards you, so, um, so yeah, so we have three piles to choose from here. We have the flora pile, which is number one. We have the copper pile, which is number two with the copper stone. And then we have the amethyst um, pile, which is number three. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Do not make it fit if it does not fit. This is also a timeless reading, so whenever this you come across this reading is when you're meant to hear this message. Um... I am doing personal reading, so that information will be down below if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me. And then I just want to give a big thanks for all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me and my channel in any way you felt guided to do so. I truly, truly, really appreciate it. You guys are so wonderful, so great. I love reading all your comments. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm so happy with what I'm, what's going on and what I'm building. And I'm just loving how we're all so nice to each other. And just reading the comments just honestly makes me really happy. So I appreciate that. So thank you, thank you so much and yeah so without further ado let's get on to your reading hello pile one if you chose the fluorite group this is your or the fluorite stone this is your reading for your next blessing so okay before we get into this let me just say that first thing i'm picking up is that your next blessing is not going to look like a blessing let me just say that it's going to feel very i'm getting the word destructive or just very chaotic very challenging to say the least but this is all happening for your highest good it's happening for your life purpose this is your plan this is your life's journey you're meant to go through whatever you're about to grow through let me just say that before i get into like the details of what i'm picking up and the cards and everything because this is whatever is about to happen in terms of your next blessing it's happening for your spiritual growth it's happening because like i said you signed up for this i'm really picking up a lot of you are like either star seeds or light workers but you're not aware of that or you not you may not know enough information about that for you to solely depend or kind of um see yourself in that way if that makes sense i feel like a lot of you who chose this group you may come up to a lot of challenges but it's like spiritual challenges this is like your spiritual test but you may not see it as a spiritual test because it looks very chaotic and this chaos card is really just standing out to me right now so let me look at that since that's what's standing out to me so we have chaos here number nine number nine is about independence it's about compassion it's about um, a completion of some kind so you are coming to a place where you in terms of your next blessing you're coming into a place where you are ending a cycle or you're about to end a cycle but it's not over yet you're like like at the end like a, at the last end tail of it sort of speak and this last end tail is a blessing in disguise to say the least it is very um it's meant to kind of either i feel like a lot of this like is meant to open your heart because i'm getting really tight in the heart chakra even though we do have the seventh chakra which is the crown chakra here but i'm getting like it's connected to your heart chakra which is connected to your purpose or what you love doing or just what you love in a general sense like this is helping you to get there or to get back on track if you've been off track or it's just kind of expanding that area that chakra to say the least and i feel like this is more of a spiritual thing for a lot of you i think this is definitely a spiritual blessing in the sense that it is you ascending and getting a lot of downloads you just kind of awakening to who you are in spiritual truth um because I feel like you are, a lot of you are trying to manifest something. And I do feel like it's definitely coming in, but you may be having a little bit of some challenges. And I feel like the challenge is more so just your external environment changing so that you can bring in and kind of ground this new manifestation that 
or this new desire that you're trying to manifest and just ground it into your physical reality so basically it's like you're um you're shifting realities you're changing realities and in order to do that it does start in the 5d it starts spiritual first then the 3d is like the last little bit of you know information we see it's like the last leg of the journey basically and so um i do see a lot of just changes and challenges that you will be going through i'm getting like three to six months for some of you this could be going on for quite some time maybe just um in the summertime well if you're in the northern hemisphere it's summer well it's spring but it's about to be summer but i'm just getting like summertime like you're just going through a lot of changes but this is helping you grow into the person that you want to be and it's helping you like i said either discover your life purpose or be more expansive and whatever you know whatever journey path you're on in terms of your life purpose so like i was saying back to the chaos card so like i said number nine is about independence and and um i feel like this card is really about like a misunderstanding i don't know why i'm getting that maybe it's connected to the heart chakra i was feeling but this is about a misunderstanding or um there's just a lot of different stuff going on in your life right now or about to come into your life right now i want to i keep on saying in your life right now because i feel like this is already happening so for a lot of you you could be going through a really chaotic time where seeing where things just don't seem to be grounding or coming together you're not really hearing the information you need maybe you're not hearing the news that you need or you're just kind of you know being blocked or challenged at every given turn you know anything you do it's it's just challenged in some way so this chaos card is saying not to fear this but to remind you that after the storm you know everything will be clear life will begin again and it will be even better than before this all of this is happening to make your life better than what it is right now so if you kind of refuse to see it in this way or you know whatever the case may be i just feel like a lot of you may be like refusing to see it from a spiritual perspective um and that is going to cause more blockage and challenges and like i'm hearing damage i don't even know what that means more than more so than you need and i'm getting like chills up and down my legs so i feel like this is very accurate for someone so there's like a lot of basically spirit is just wanting you to kind of let things let things be what they are let things be chaotic if you're challenged somewhere or if someone says tells you no or if you don't get a promotion or that job it's because there's something better for you. It's because spirit is trying to guide you towards another direction and another path. And I really do feel like a lot of you are not open to this because of your perception of it. Because I feel like a lot of you may be fixated on how you want something to go, how you want your life purpose to go. This could be work, career. This could be anything. This could be relationship. This could be just your own personal relationship with yourself, your own journey. I feel like a lot of you are really fixated on how you want your life to be. And spirit is just like, but there's so much better for you. There's so much more that we can offer you. But in order to give you that, things are going to need to kind of be up in the air for a little bit, I guess, and kind of like be a little bit chaotic um i feel like there's just there's a message here about like stepping out on faith and like waiting for the storm to pass and you'll be glad that you did because it'll bring you what you have been trying to manifest for like ever for like i feel like a lot of you have been trying to manifest something for a really really long time and it's finally coming in but again, this chaos has to happen. I just feel like it's it's already happening for a lot of you or it's about to happen or it just started or you're in the middle of it, whatever the case may be. I also feel like this could be drama. So there could be a lot of drama around you. There could be a lot of like, just a lot of misunderstandings, like I was saying with other people, a lot of arguments or a lot of like altercations maybe or fights or something like that around people, family, friends. And maybe a lot of you aren't seeing eye to eye with, you know your friends your families your lover whoever and this is happening for a reason because it's meant you're meant to see it from a different perspective as something that's helping you instead of something that's hurting you um so we have okay in terms of like your tarot here so we have the six of wands reverse we have the artist which is like an extra um card major arcana card in this deck and then we have the wheel of fortune in reverse so there is definitely a delay here gotta be honest there's this 
and i think again this is your blessing you're delayed in some way because whatever path you're on whatever you're doing right now is not part of your life's purpose honestly and i feel like that's really hard for a lot of you to hear or it may be hard but and it's not because what you're doing right now is not purposeful or not helpful or you know whatever i'm it's it's more like there's like a different route you need to take kind of thing or like there's just a different there's more expansive knowledge or there's more of an expansive path that you need to be on or for a lot of you this could just be that you need to add more spiritual context to your life purpose whatever it may be um but whatever it is there's just there's a missing piece here and spirit is trying to get you to see this missing piece but i don't think you're really feeling confident in spirit right now i don't feel like i feel like you're not really feeling confident in yourself and this also will change this is just a time right now where there's just challenges honestly we all have them we all go through them i know it doesn't make it any better if you are going through it but just so that you don't feel so like blocked or stuck or down or like a failure or anything like that because that's not the case at all um usually when we're blocked or stuck it's because we're missing something and spirit wants us to see something different they want us to kind of change our perception or go down a different road like almost like when you like get turned down for like a job or something and you're really bummed about it because you really wanted that job but then like two or three weeks later you get this like out of the blue call from this job that you applied to like months and months ago that you really really wanted but you never heard back so you thought you just didn't get it and they called you back and just like hey we just found your application or maybe it got lost or whatever we like to you know what i mean it's like something like that where like it'll seem really doom and gloom i feel for the next couple months but it's for your benefit it's because there's something better out there for you i just want to put that out there because i am getting like that type of vibe um so with the no place like home in terms of like i feel like this is like your advice it is in reverse it is number 50 so 50 could be significant but this card speaks about when it's in the reverse like kind of getting out of our own comfort zones this is um this is about like looking for certainty but it, from the outside world instead of knowing your own certainty within if that makes sense this is a very spiritual i'm getting a very spiritual nature from these cards so i feel like a lot of you are highly spiritual or into spirituality or um may not or may like know a little bit about it but you don't dabble enough in it but spirit is really calling for you to do so because it could be really beneficial and helpful to you during this chaotic time if this resonates but um I, I feel like there's a lot of unhealthy patterns in your life right now which is why this chaos is happening there's a lot of unhealthy relationship patterns a lot of unhealthy behaviors a lot of honestly unhealthy thinking patterns because my third eye just kind of tingled a little bit so it could be like what you're seeing the way you're thinking that spirit is really trying to get you to change and I feel like a lot of you could be too eager to like to have something your way does that make sense to like to get that job that dream job or to get that dream home or to move you know what i mean you're too there's like <laughs> spirit is really like stopping you like right now like i just feel like like just stop pause wait like there is something that you're missing here and this is definitely a blessing i really do feel like this is a blessing it's not as like dramatic as i may be making it but it is something to pay attention to because they really don't want you to miss something really important so this no place like home in reverse says basically talks about choosing something that's unfamiliar and trusting that you will find a new normal in that unfamiliar place that supports your spirit so again this is talking about spirit so it's like this is kind of like if you do what you did you'll you'll get what you got type of vibe so spirit wants you to do things differently do the opposite of what feels right um if it's uncomfortable even if it's uncomfortable you know what i mean so because right now i feel like what feels right is really what feels familiar and 
then at that point you're gonna attract and be drawn to things that you don't want anymore because i feel like a lot of you want to change something but you just may be scared and i feel like it's already happening because you've already manifested it and i think it's just the way it's manifesting in your life you're scared because it's looking very chaotic and dark and gloomy and just kind of like everything's all over the place you don't know if you're coming or going like that type of thing um so spirit really wants you to be and I feel like you could be at a crossroads right now in your life where you're kind of graduating or like coming to a new level in your life, a new phase in your life. And spirit wants you to know that this time, you know, to get where you need to go, it will it won't be different unless you do something different. Spirit is really asking you to do something different. I feel like a lot of this is just your thinking. Honestly, you're thinking about yourself because I feel like a lot of you um, are not that confident i feel like a lot of you maybe pretend or present yourself to be more confident than you are or you have been doing this in the past and spirit is wanting you to see yourself for who you are not to say that you're like you know with the six of wands like not worthy or not confident or anything but we all have those times where we just don't feel like our best and we don't feel like we're good enough or you know we're human we're all like just trying to do the best that we can and i feel like with this six of wands and this no place like home spirit is really asking you to get to know yourself get to know who you really are basically this is calling for a little bit of shadow work i'm picking up a little bit of just knowledge about shadow work maybe do some research about shadow work and see what comes up and shadow work all it is is just being aware of those parts of ourselves that we hide that we don't talk about that we're might be ashamed of that we might feel guilty about you know maybe you feel guilty because you're jealous of your friend that they got a job and you didn't it's like stuff like that it's like kind of bringing awareness to that instead of repressing it and suppressing it pretending it doesn't exist because i feel like maybe a lot of you could be doing that with the six of wands or it could just be looking for validation outside of yourself which i think i mentioned um a little bit i do feel like that could be something that spirit is really wanting you to look at before you go on to your next level because i do feel honestly that this next level is something or this next phase in your life is something that you've been manifesting for quite some time and spirit wants you to be ready for it but in order for you to be ready for it things have to change and for things to change it will look chaotic it will look like nothing's falling into place it will look like you know like this i don't know if you can see this chaos card but it'll just look not fun not great you know until the dust settles until the tornado's gone and then and during this time this is not for you to engage in any type of drama or engage in the chaos any more than you need to this is for you to reflect and see your part that you can play in the chaos that's like that's helpful that's supportive that can ease you through this difficult challenging time and i do feel like your advice here is to really self-reflect and to heal because sixes are about healing so this is about healing self-reflecting it's about no longer looking outside of yourself for validation this is about validating yourself you are looking for a place to maybe call your home whether this is a person a work whatever the case may be and spirit wants you to know that you are home you are home within yourself this human body that you have is your home get to know it get to understand it to learn it to you know figure out how it operates why it thinks certain things why you think certain things why you behave certain ways this is really about learning about yourself before you go on to that next phase because the artist is really positive here it means you are creating your reality as you speak you are manifesting we have how to manifest here so you're definitely manifesting this new um this new life purpose or this new path on your life purpose this new expansion of your life purpose but with the wheel of fortune reverse after it there's a delay and there's a stagnation and there's a, a lesson of karma i feel coming in for a lot of you that you need to learn and deal with before you get on this path it, it will feel i just feel like so tight in my chest i feel like it'll feel really heartbreaking for a lot of you it'll feel really just painful and uncomfortable and just really like challenging like with the challenge card here it'll make you stop and reflect on okay what's going on because you are definitely being detoured right now and you're being asked to revise rethink follow your inner guidance um you know 
it's it, this is definitely like a test before you level up to your next phase absolutely i definitely feel this is a test and this is a blessing because spirit wants you to be at your best when you get this blessing when you get this newfound love for something or you expand your love and your purpose or you sell your art all of a sudden or you get that career that you've always wanted get that that dream career that dream job that you always wanted something in that way is a is going to happen but not before you go through this test and with the seventh chakra archangel uriel um this really speaks about it's number 41 which is a five and fives are all about change four plus one equals five and then we have 50 here which reduces to a five so a lot of change and change is uncomfortable i feel like maybe a lot of you are uncomfortable with change don't deal with change well which is fair you could be like a fixed sign but you know you don't have to be but i just feel like change is something that you don't really like to deal with but just think of all the other times where you had to deal with change and it was hard and it was rough but you came out of it very more clear more wiser more stronger than you were before you went through that challenging time you know what i mean so this is just another one of those challenging times but i do feel like this one's like a doozy just because this one is giving you a really big blessing of like abundance peace wealth health maybe travel um seeing the world you know just seeing different people just experiencing different experiences that you never thought you would be able to experience you know this is something that's really really major going on right now and i just want you to know that it's it's okay if it doesn't feel like anything major is going on it's because this is definitely a test and I feel like it's kind of spirit just really wants you to believe in yourself to believe that you already have what you want to try to keep your focus on what you want to manifest um to really try to only take inspired action so inspired action basically is just action that comes from um, your intuition it comes from an inspired place it comes from a place of love a place of peace a place of um joy instead of a place of fear doubt rejection, lack of confidence, all that, you know, all that low vibe stuff. So really pay attention to where your actions are coming from. Um, also, it, it's not all doom and gloom. I do, I do feel like during this chaos, you know, other things are happening, but I feel like this is kind of major right now. Maybe there's just certain things happening that you're just like, I don't know why this is happening, but you know, life goes on. You still have other things you have to focus on and do. So I would try to have fun and just align yourself with what you're trying to do as much as possible. I feel like it'll be a little bit more difficult because you're going through this chaos. But if you could just find like five or 10 minutes alone to just kind of ground yourself, reflect, you know, on what you really want, on what is true for you, what you believe you deserve, then you will receive it. So like I was saying, so with the seventh chakra, that's your crown chakra, number 41, I like that this is upright because it just tells me that you're getting a lot of messages and downloads from spirit. You're very much connected to spirit and your intuition and inspiration is at an all time high. So I do feel like you have a lot of great intuitive powers. I feel like you're not using. I feel like you're not aware of. You know more than you may pretend to know, I feel um there's just i feel like there's just so much information that you're either getting or you're about to get that is from the spirit world that is guidance um so that you can maneuver this chaos a little better so like i said this is a good time to kind of quiet your mind listen and know that and, and just try to and know that you're connected to spirit and just try to spend some time with spirit because spirit is really assisting you right now. There's something here about like Akashic Records. There's, there's, you're going, it's like, this is like destined to happen. You're like living your destiny right now. And this was already planned before you were born that you were going to go through this. I don't know if it's just one chaotic thing or maybe just many, a lot of different chaotic things going on. But whatever it is you're experiencing right now, if this resonates, you're meant to go through this because you're going to get such like, I can't even ex express to you the biggest blessing 
of your lifetime like you just don't even know like it's going to be so big so just you're not even gonna like believe that this is happening to you is what I'm feeling but yeah you have a lot of like you had I feel like that took so much out of me like I feel like you're just gonna be like once you're done with whatever you're going through during this time and you get to your blessing of your life purpose you're gonna be so like out of I want to say out of breath but just very like exhausted like oh my god I like made it through I don't know I'm getting that energy like you're really just maybe struggling or you're about to struggle going through something that you will be way better off going through than if you hadn't gone through because it'll teach you resilience it'll teach you strength it'll teach you confidence it'll teach you to rely on yourself it'll teach you about who you really are in spiritual truth and it will give you a chance to create the reality that you desire because i feel like maybe that's something that you're learning that you are the master of your reality you are the co-creator of your reality so i feel like you're practicing co-creating and you may think it's not working because you see things changing in your external reality and not in a good way but it's because you know, chaos just has to happen. Like it just has to happen for us to get what we want. I don't know why. I It's just how it works. Sometimes when we build our lives to a certain point on like a faulty foundation or when we build our lives based off of fear and all these like low negative vibes, you know, when good things come into our life or before good things can come into our life, we have to get rid of those, you know, deceptive people or, you know, any type of deception we may be doing to ourselves so we can be aligned with spirit so we can be aligned with our true purpose we can be aligned with unconditional love you know what i mean so this is just aligning you to unconditional love which is a very it's a hard challenge especially if you don't know what that is or if you had an idea but it's not planning out that way or if you just kind of didn't know it would take so much this is what's going on and like I said there's going to be great rewards after so I don't want you to worry about it but I just want you to know that everything is going the way it's supposed to go it's just teaching you right now a lesson or it's about to teach you a lesson for some of you in your spiritual truth in how much you really trust yourself and trust spirit or do you trust other people and the outside world and other organizations or do you really trust that you are the co-creator of your reality this is going to test that theory so just um keep that in mind but i do i just feel like you are manifesting a really great thing and it will come to fruition absolutely 100 percent. so but it's again this is like all in divine timing like i said i'm getting three to six months it could be sooner of or like, yeah, definitely could be sooner. But with the Wheel of Fortune, this is like destiny, the universe kind of doing this on its own timetable here. But yeah, so that is what I see for you guys. So I hope this wasn't too disappointing. I felt, I just, it's a good, it's, you're okay. <laughs> I just want to give you guys a hug. Like, this is good that this is happening. It means that you're a warrior. It means that you're a light worker. It means that you are meant to do more than you thought you ever could accomplish in this lifetime. So don't take this as something that's, you know, why is this happening to me in terms of like a victim mentality? You're not a victim here. You are just growing, you're ascending, you're learning. And we grow the best through challenges let me just leave it at that but I, that's what i'm gonna say and that's what i have for you guys so i hope this was helpful i hope this resonated um if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile two and welcome to your reading if you chose the copper stone this is your reading for your next blessing or blessings so the first thing I'm picking up here, honestly, is that I feel like a lot of you have been in this conflicting place with one person, a particular person or people in general. I feel like there's just been a lot of misunderstandings or disagreements or arguments of some kind that's just been very weighing heavy on your heart, very distress distressing. And um, I feel like, honestly, this is with someone that you really care about or love. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be a friend a sibling a parent or anything like that I just 
I feel like um, there's there's definitely a solution here because we have a resolving conflict and then we have the star and the king of cups and the knight of swords for a lot of you. I feel like this is maybe about a particular love situation. So I feel like the ne your next blessing is basically having like this heart to heart with this person. It doesn't have to be like I said, but I'm picking up more love. So this is like having a heart to heart with your person. This is about you honestly discussing how you really feel um you offering i feel like there's a chance for you to understand yourself better and to understand this person better i feel like there's gonna be an opportunity where you both can communicate clearly and really feel heard by each other i feel like both of you have been afraid to maybe discuss this or to come across or to like speak about something that has been really hurtful to both of you. I feel like you both maybe felt that you weren't going to get your needs met or that you really hurt each other or that you really don't care about each other. Um, but this is healing. There's a lot of fear that's healing. And I feel like any type of conflict that came about from this fear is healing. And this is about you spending a little bit more quality time with this person and not like both of you kind of just seeing eye to eye on a particular matter basically i feel like you're gonna learn how to deal with conflicts better honestly this is like i feel like whatever the situation is has been like really really difficult for you to manage or to handle or to think about it's just been kind of on your mind and your blessing is that you finally get it, get it resolved with this person. So there's definitely an opportunity to come together or reconcile with someone that you really miss, that you care about, that you've been scared, that doesn't really maybe feel loving feelings for you, but they actually do. They're also just in this place of fear and scared to reach out. But I feel like there's also a blessing here of like patience. I feel like you both are going to be really patient. You both are going to really come together in a different way than what you both expected. Because we also have happiness and observe. There's going to be a lot more listening to one another and a lot more understanding coming together. If this is about a particular conflict with a person or maybe just a situation with different people. But I feel like patience is needed and patience will be given in this situation especially with the king of cups and the knight of swords and the star this is really really pretty to see it's basically an opportunity for you to speak from your heart and to get like a wish of yours to come true like a dream of yours it's like you're finally getting the green light to go towards someone or something you're finally getting the green light to express yourself in a really loving compassionate intimate way to really show someone you care to be empathetic to be understanding like I was saying because I feel like someone really misses you and I feel like you have been missing this person but you have been maybe thinking that they don't want to hear from you and vice versa and it's just been like really like I said a lot of misunderstandings but happiness is coming so I do feel like this is about a particular love relationship I feel like a lot of you who chose this is, are in separation from your divine counterpart or just someone that you love a soulmate whether it's long distance or whether you're just not really speaking you're not on speaking terms with this person this is basically getting on the same page with this person and like I said it doesn't have to be it could be a parent or a sibling or something like that but this is both of you getting on the same page in regards to your relationship with one with one another um then we have the wisdom card the grove which is number 21 so that could be significant for some but this is about again healing your wounds and mending your heart so we have another card here about healing and mending and i feel like this card really speaks about apologizing to anyone that you've harmed or maybe apology or an apology is coming towards you but this is about making your relationships whole again choosing healing over anger over pain this is about um a very it's a very strong blessing and a strong time in your life right now and i feel like your blessing honestly is a lot of compassion coming in a lot of kindness from others this is also you are getting the opportunity to show your compassion and kindness to others or to one particular person and learning that we're all human and no one is perfect if you are hurting i feel like 
this will pass that's your blessing like this will pass and you will get some reconciliation or um or mend some broken um wounded place within yourself like you're gonna be more whole and more or feel more whole and more healed again and if this is someone you love that's hurting this is basically you being able to be there for them in a way that maybe you haven't been there for them in the past like this is all about like pains of the heart being pains of the heart a wounding being healed so whatever heartbreak pain you're feeling you are going to heal it and this is just actually really nice it's really calm it's like you finally getting emotionally I want to say mature or like just emotionally understanding just really being comfortable in your emotions being intuitive really having control over your emotions and because of this you're able to help someone that you care about get control over their emotions or kind of be supportive in whatever area they're going through where they may be feeling low or just like very alone or just very wounded in some way so this is actually really really nice i feel like a lot of you you're gonna get this communication so if you've been feeling this way this is something that's coming towards you someone's going to reach out to you and heal help heal you or help heal the situation that you both are in this is someone that you care about this is someone that you love um like i said it could be a romantic or just a family member a friend but this is someone that makes you happy. This is someone that you miss. This is someone that you may have been telling yourself a certain story about this person and being caught up in that story and not seeing the truth of the situation or the truth of why this person is behaving this way or and vice versa. So you're coming to this place where basically your blessing is where you're accepting of what is. You're stepping back. You're seeing the bigger picture. You are able to be or get into this mature place where you're able to speak your truth from a loving compassionate place and understanding place and this person as well where you can finally have your dream come true and for a lot of you your dream come true is to get on the same page as your partner or as your divine counterpart or as this friend as this family member and really help each other grow um and then for some of you this is about like self-love this is about you resolving conflict within yourself within your divine feminine divine masculine energies this is about helping yourself this is about living your dreams this is about you know combining your talent with your passion and with this to the c card which is number seven it's a very spiritual number it's a very spiritual card but it is in reverse so when this card's in reverse it it's it's kind of like an overwhelming emotional feeling but i'm getting that this card is more about external conditions i feel like there's maybe there's like some hidden message for you to decipher. I feel like your next blessing here is basically like learning to go with the tides of ebb and flow in terms of your emotions, learning to be in a natural cycle that you are going to have ups and downs in your emotions. It's kind of like it, like I said, accepting of what is and knowing that you can get through it. It's not something you have to avoid or deny. It's just something that you have to come come towards it or just confront it in a way that's mature that's direct that's clear but also compassionate empathetic and understanding so if you're resisting something or you're fighting against a situation this blessing is for you to learn how to flow with it how to see it from a different perspective how to um how to relax and kind of trust that everything is working out the way that it's supposed to basically and that also this card speaks about abundance that will soon be within your reach again so i do feel like there's a lot of good things coming towards you i feel like it may just take some work it may just take some inner work some inner reflection time some patience with this 16 patience card some time to reflect to kind of wait until you know you feel inspired to make a move or inspired to reach out or inspired to say something where basically inspired being it's coming from a place of love not a place of anger or pain or wound or trauma but from a place where you understand your trauma your wounds and your pain where you can be supportive of someone else going through it you know what i mean um these messages lately have been very deep in terms of blessings they've been very like like spiritual blessings like very internal type of blessings i thought they were going to be very light and fluffy but this is just what's coming out and, and i say that because the first pile was kind of 
deep and intense but this one it has a different um connotation to it i feel like this one's more about your relationship with a particular person and your relationship with yourself and trying to kind of balance those two out um to someone that you haven't spoken to in a while that may become rushing in to speak to you and i feel like they really have good news to share with you good things to tell you um emotional happiness emotional fulfillment or this could be you reaching out to someone depending on where you are or what you resonate with in terms of this reading but i do feel like patience is very much needed um patience and waiting for things to be resolved and just kind of healing yourself, making sure that you're balanced within, making sure that you have a good, real healthy relationship with yourself, observing your actions, observing the stories you're telling yourself, seeing the bigger picture, maybe understanding or trying to understand why you're telling yourself a certain story and kind of seeing things from a person's, seeing things from another person's perspective, basically to kind of get you to see that you're not the only one going through it or you're not the only one that feels this way or you're not the only one that feels wounded in this situation and kind of just being mature about it to to correct it to to heal it to mend it so that it doesn't keep going on because i feel like this has been really stressful for a lot of you who have been going through this who resonate with this this has been a very difficult time with someone else or even with yourself or both honestly and this is where you get to find that healing. You get that blessing of coming together, of love, of sharing love, of sharing unconditional love and support. And you will be met with it if you're coming, or if you're going towards this person or if this person is coming towards you. I do feel like it will be reciprocal. It will be, you both will be on the same page about this, about resolving some type of conflict because you both are tired of feeling hurt and unhappy and telling yourself a story that doesn't exist that's not true it's just based off your old wounds or past pain or past trauma or old trauma that hasn't been resolved within yourself or healed within yourself yet so this is your next blessing you getting to resolve all types of con conflict within yourself and within a really important relationship with someone else very kind of short and sweet and to the point but i like that okay so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful i hope this resonated um if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile three if you chose the amethyst welcome to your reading for your next blessing or blessings so honestly i feel like your next blessing i feel like first of all these are blessings coming towards you i feel like you're gonna have multiple blessings coming towards you um because you're gonna have to make multiple decisions on which one you want to give your energy time and attention to which is really good i feel like that's really um with this focus card i just feel like that's really an important thing like an important message with the focus card number 17 so this basically this first of all this card is a good sign and basically it says what you focus on when you focus on you will achieve so i feel like there's going to be a lot coming towards you a lot of opportunities a lot of different things um i feel like a lot of you have been manifesting different things and wanting to do different things or just kind of with this garden card just really making your life the best where you're at right now um yes you want to do different things and yes you want to start different projects or do different you know things outside your comfort zone and i feel like they haven't come in yet but they're about to and i feel like they're all coming in at once because you're gonna be really busy or like i said have a lot of different choices to make so basically with the focus card this is like a reminder that you cannot Basically, you have to let go of all distractions and you have to have the courage to give something your all. So I feel like this is where you have to make one choice about what you want to pursue of what whatever your next blessing is coming in. I feel like this has to do with work opportunities, honestly. I feel like this has to do with like abundance, prosperity, a passion project because we have follow your bliss and high vibes. So I just feel like, and then we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, but we'll get to that in a minute. But I do feel like this is about your career or a new project that you're really passionate about, but maybe you haven't been focusing on it that much. Maybe you've been distracted with other things. Maybe you've been just focusing on your external reality and like trying to take care of all of that but there's gonna come a time where 
this new project or this new job or this new opportunity is going to present itself and it's going to need your undivided attention. So I feel like with the focus card, you have to keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the target. Um, know that you can't control everything. You can't control the outcome because I feel like a lot of you may have been avoiding focusing on this because you don't know how it's going to turn out or you don't know how it's going to, yeah, how you how it's going to turn out. So you've been like avoiding making a decision. I feel like these are opportunities or one opportunity that's already come in that you've been avoiding because you're afraid to kind of give it your all or give it all your attention. So just know that, um, you're changing the course of your plan of your plan of your life's plan right now. And to achieve anything, um, you have to focus on it. You have to take the time to work on it, to pay attention to it. But I do feel like there's a lot of outside influences, honestly. So what I'm picking up, I feel like there's a lot of things to determine the course of this plan like I feel like there's a lot of maybe that's why you've been avoiding it because there's a lot of things you have to consider in making this decision if this has already come up if this opportunity has already been presented to you if not you will take your time in choosing but I feel like you're gonna maybe get into a place where you won't choose not because you don't know what you want but because you're weighing up the pros and cons too much or you're focusing on other things too much or you're kind of like um distracting yourself with other things because you're afraid of failure or afraid you won't be good at whatever this opportunity is or you're afraid you can't give it your all or something like that and that's not the case at all because i feel like whatever this is is going to be really abundant with this garden card you're going to feel really almost like this garden card is reminding me of like the nine of pentacles just really materially materially <laughs> spiritually abundant um a lot of material abundance a lot of prosperity a lot of growth a lot of just lush lavish energy with this opportunity so it's because it's not i feel like a lot of you i feel like it's not because this opportunity hasn't been presented yet it's because you're still weighing up the pros and cons of it you're still like it's almost like you're it's it's not like you're not motivated you're motivated but i just i feel like this honestly is a fear thing i feel like this is you just thinking these thoughts or you just kind of distracting yourself so you don't have to think certain thoughts about this project or about whatever you want to do there's just something here where this is definitely your bliss this is definitely a creative new direction you're taking this is something where your heart and mind is aligned but you are in this place of fear of making this decision to really go for it and spirit really wants you to be in this place of no fear of really this place of you know trusting that you can do what inspires you that you are creative that you can make this happen you can make this something that's really abundant and and really lavish and really something that can take care of you in the long term in the long run because also with this garden i'm getting the ten of pentacles so that could be something as well but um actually let me look into the garden so we'll move on to the garden card so the garden card here is like i said la lavish abundance it's number 16 it's about nurturing the seeds of love within you and outside of you so you can help them grow i feel like this card is basically learning you your next blessing is basically you learning how to nurture your feminine energy you learning how to nurture your creativity how to nurture you, um what inspires you basically this is about planting the seeds that you want to see grow and protecting them while they grow this is about also harvest so i feel like a lot of you are coming getting going to come into abundance of some kind especially with this two of pentacles usually i don't get a lot of like abundant type energy from this but i'm getting a lot of abundance from this i'm also getting distractions but i'm also getting a lot of abundance so you may be distracted with money coming in from different places or this could be an abundance of health or whatever the case may be but i do feel like your next blessing is something that's really abundant that's going to bring you a lot of profits that's going to be in harmony with what you really want in the direction you want your life to be it's also going to give you a lot of strength it's also going to teach you diligence and it's also going to provide you a lot of inner peace and a lot of um um a lot of just connecting to mother earth connecting to nature i feel like a lot of you may 
be grounding or earthing or, or trying to ground yourself or just be stable i'm getting like root chakra and heart chakra but grounding your emotions grounding your feminine energy i feel like there's a lot of attention that needs to be put on your inner self and your outer self if that makes sense so it's basically time to kind of weed out some things plant different things get a constructive plan together and really again this card speaks of focus and attention because i feel like maybe a lot of you don't think something's realistic which is why you're not paying attention to it for you to achieve but that's not the case because with this gardener card it really speaks about nurturing and cultivating what you already have within you and that you can achieve it so this is just about your willingness to work towards your goal all you need is a willingness to work towards it and the universe will take care of the rest i feel like you're thinking about you know x y and z when that's not your place to think about it it's just your place to act it's just your place to do what inspires you and to move towards your creativity and to surround yourself with positive people um to really connect i'm really getting the strong connection to mother earth your feminine side nature stuff like that source listening to uh, meditations or going outside listening to calming music just something to get you inspired again this is a really big message here about your feminine energy needing to be reignited because right now this ace of wands is reverse which means you're not really feeling like motivated to do something the creativity is there it inspires you but the motivation is lacking because you're distracting yourself and because you may not be making the best choices in terms of you may be like avoiding making a choice you may be just thinking or doing different things that don't inspire you that aren't that don't make you feel good that don't you know you may be making fear-based choices instead of love-based choices let's just say that so with this here and now card which is a number 32 which reduces to a five again this is about change a lot of change a lot of a need for you to be flexible and for you to kind of go with the flow i'm picking up here and also this card speaks about needing to be present because again this little girl is sitting on an egg and the egg has a door on it so i do feel like there's a new opportunity being birthed or something new that wants to come forth but you're just not paying attention to it enough you're not giving it your all you're not giving it your focus you're kind of thinking of all like maybe worst case scenarios or really just in this place of fear right now because you think like i said it's unrealistic or you can't do it or whatever the case may be and spirit wants you to know basically your next blessing is that getting your next blessing is that you finally get to see that this is something that you that you can make a living off of because for some of you i'm picking up that you feel like you can't make a living off whatever inspires you this is something where you can make a living off of you can be abundant it's going to take work it's going to take focus it's going to be it's not going to be easy but it will be fulfilling it will be fun it will be it won't feel like work because it's something that you love it will be really rewarding as well it'll teach you balance it'll teach you diligence like i said it'll teach you discipline it'll teach you all the things that i feel like spirit is trying to teach you through this creative idea this creative project that you have been kind of neglecting or just not really paying enough attention to so spirit is really trying to get you to see the possibilities in this endeavor because it's a big one and it's something really special and it's something that can bring you a lot of abundance but you need to find your balance you need to find your your openness, your flexibility, your present, being more present, being more conscious and being more in this place of courage and focus instead of fear, basically. Um, and then we have the adjacent possibilities in reverse number 24, which reduces to a six. So I feel with this card, this speaks about this kind of speaks about missing an opportunity and i do feel like honestly some of you are missing an opportunity because you're distracting yourself with other things and i'm not saying these other things aren't good or bad i feel like these other things are just day-to-day -day stuff for some of you it's other abundant opportunities and other projects that you're just focused on for others i feel like this is just you focus on doubt, fear, rejection, just fear of failure, feeling like you're not good enough of some kind. So it's going to be different for everyone. But I do feel like with this adjacent possibility card, it's basically warning you to to pay attention because they don't want you to miss this opportunity because um, 
because you're too like focused on other things it also speaks about shaking up your world and letting go of unhealthy patterns and inner habits like i was saying maybe you make a lot of fear-based choices maybe you just really doubt yourself or you doubt what can be abundant what can be prosperous um maybe you feel or you've just been told that whatever this creative whatever inspires you you can't make a lot of money off of and that's not the truth so this is about really telling yourself a different story when it comes to that kind of stuff this is about um you having a lot of power within you and you don't even know how much power you have because i feel like you've just been suppressing it or you've been neglecting it or ignoring it you just haven't used it to your full advantage if that makes sense so but there are i feel like what this card is saying there are a lot of habits that the universe is asking you to pay attention to because you may be projecting your energy onto um out into the universe and you may not be liking the results does that make sense so it's like you're projecting you have this creative inspired idea that you want to make money off of let's just say and you may be talking about it to certain people you may be dreaming about it or just thinking or just kind of you know chatting up with different people that are telling you about your ideas and I feel like these people are supportive or this person is supportive but it's like you still are hesitating to like shoot that arrow you know what I mean with this focus card you're still hesitating to fully commit to this decision fully commit to this create creative idea fully commit to your bliss basically and spirit is really wanting you to like let go of those thoughts and beliefs that are really kind of keeping you back because those are defining moments and in every next moment you have another energetic choice to make you know what i mean so the more that you kind of don't make a choice you're making another choice that's leading you further away from your bliss i hope that makes sense so basically this card is saying it's time to decide a lot of decision cards here it's time to decide you know are you going to let worry and self-doubt define you or are you going to step into the present moment and be optimistic and trust and love yourself and know that you're able to do this you're able to make money you're able to be abundant you're able to take care of yourself to be secure to be stable with whatever bliss you want to make or whatever creative decision you want to do it's like you always have the option you make choices every day you always have the option to either choose your bliss or not choose your bliss basically and spirit is really wanting you to choose your bliss it's i feel like honestly this has been presented to you several times i feel like this is nothing new whatever i'm saying i feel like you're aware of this um if this resonates with you i also feel like this is something that um, i feel like 17 could also be a significant number for some of you but yeah i just i feel like there's just a lack of decision making it's not like you're not making a decision you're just making a decision that's leading you further away from your true direction basically and spirit wants you to get back on track and to focus and to pay attention and to tell yourself a different story to change your thinking to be more in this place of confidence and trust that whatever you choose whatever direction you choose it will be abundant it will be blissful it will be prosperous it will give you everything you need to take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones but you just have to trust because i feel like a lot of you aren't trusting right now so yeah so that's what i see so bits basically your next blessing is that you are going to be able to trust spirit is giving you the opportunity to trust to really commit to this new direction to commit to what inspires you to really not be in this place of fear anymore but be in this place of of trust and love and and um yeah <laughs> and focus and discipline and to really like put your all into something that you really care about and it will bring you great reward i do see great great abundance this garden card is really abundant to me really prosperous really loving just you know ten of pentacles if we had the ten of pentacles i feel like this reminds me of the nine and ten of pentacles so really really independently you know independent what am i trying to say like like you're financially independent and emotionally independent and you're just independent and you're loving it you're just loving everything about it you can take care of yourself and you can take care of others if you need to but you have to make that first step you have to take that first step you have to tell yourself a different story and not distract yourself or procrastinate on really fully committing to this ace of wands whatever this may be for you 
so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care